Okay, my name is Bob. I got Lyme disease. And it's not a coincidence that lies and Lyme both start with the same letter. Because there's lots of lies about Lyme disease. And the doctors that want to hurt you are going to lie to you about what you have. I got Lyme disease in 1990. I didn't know it was Lyme disease. The government wasn't telling me. The doctors weren't telling me. Nobody was talking about it. And yet Lyme was defined back in the 70s. And everybody should have known about it. But they're keeping it a secret. So it took me 10 years to find out I had Lyme disease. And in that 10th year, starting in January, I went to 10 different doctors with a report written out of everything that had happened to me for the last 10 years before that. And none of them would tell me that I had Lyme disease. I went to one doctor because I thought, I have walking pneumonia because I already had two attacks of flu in the middle of summer. I thought, maybe I have walking pneumonia. So the guy took an x-ray of my lung. Then he comes running out of his x-ray room and says, hey, look at this. You've got a congested heart. I said, but I think I've got an infection. No, you've got a congested heart. And I made an appointment with you, with a doctor, for you to go see. So at the same time, I was going to a heart-to-heart -heart support group. I thought, this is really neat. I'm going to take the picture of my congested heart, and I'm going to tell these people what it does to you. Because by that time, I had 30 different symptoms that's been going on with me. So I took it into the group. I said, look, guys, this is a picture of a congested heart. And this is what it does to you. And I rattled off all my history for the last 10 years. And one of the members of that group sat up and said, Bob, you do not have a congested heart. You have Lyme disease. Now this happens to a lot of people. They first get diagnosed by a lay person because the doctors won't tell them. And sure enough, I didn't have Lyme disease. And I started my treatment in August of 2000. And I've been doing it for the last six years. And I'm actually getting worse. So look, just don't get Lyme disease. That's all I can say. All right, one of my first symptoms was tinnitus. I'm telling you, you do not want to get tinnitus. You lay there at night, your ears are ringing, and you pray like hell that it would stop. You say, I'll give you $10 a minute for every minute I can have of quiet. And I didn't know that Lyme caused tinnitus until I went to a support group. And I met a lot of other Lyme victims who have tinnitus. So it's one of the symptoms that you can look for. I lost the center vision of my left eye in 1993. I was reading in bed and I would land on one eye and I was trying to read with the other eye and I realized I don't have any center vision. I cannot read with this one eye. Lyme disease causes that. I went to two expert clinics, one at Johns Hopkins, and I went to Georgetown, went to their clinic. They saw the hole in my eye. They wanted to operate, but they had no idea of what caused it. These doctors will do anything to you, and they don't care what caused it, because all they're interested in is making their next payment on their yacht. They'll do all kinds of procedures on these line victims, all for money, not to help the blind victim. They'll take your gallbladder out. They'll do a heart procedure. They try to do an angiogram on me. I wouldn't let them because they're going to find something there that they're going to do an angioplasty and then they're going to do a uh, bypass and then they're going to put me on all these drugs. No, cure the line. Then let the doctors mess with all these other things. But you have to get rid of your line once you've got it. You know, to say that you have Lyme disease and you're lucky is probably kind of contradictory. But the Lyme has not gotten in my brain. I'm so fortunate there. I can still think. I can do crossword puzzles. I can play bridge. I can do all those things. 
with my brain, but my body is pretty well shot. I've had to quit playing golf. I used to play golf all the time, and that's all gone. Lying will ruin your life, and no one seems to care. Who cares? Do our politicians care? No, they don't care. All they care about is getting reelected. Do you realize how the lie victims felt when they came out with that big E. coli scare about spinach, where a hundred people got sick and one person died? Well, we're getting thousands of people getting sick with Lyme disease, and nobody's putting that on TV. How about West Nile virus? That's all they talk about, West Nile virus. How many people got sick from West Nile virus? Hardly anybody. But here we are, a mass of people, sick, our lives ruined. We can't go to work, we can't play, we can't enjoy life. We've got Lyme disease and nobody cares. 